assassinated. Right. So, what happens? What happens? So, so the heir to the Austrian throne. Now, what does it mean to be an heir to the throne? And well, you're going to be the ruler. Your dad is ruling right now, right? So, the son of the king is he goes to Sarajevo, okay? Sarajevo is how it's pronounced. So, Franz Ferdinand goes there, June 8, uh, 28th, excuse me, 1914. It's the capital of Bosnia. Now, Bosnia, a small country was recently acquired by Austria. Austria had taken over Bosnia. So that's why he's there in the first place. He goes there to, to sort of assert his power, to show the people that everything's okay, we took you over, but we're cool. Yes. Don't, only the only problem is, is that that group that I was talking about, the Slavs, they want their own country. There's a lot of those people in Bosnia. So there's this, this group of people that are there that want to be free from Austria. And what they see is this guy coming in and asserting his power. So they don't like that at all. So what emerges is this, essentially, it's a terrorist group. The Black Hand, it's a terrorist group. And what do terrorists do? They terrorize people, what does that mean? Why the hands are being black? Why the white people? But what do terrorists do? They kill, they attack people, they, they make people scared to get what they want. It has nothing to do with the color of their hand. It's just the name of the group. Purple, a purple hand. Boy, that, that really scares me. What about a tan hand? Anyway, so the black hand terrorists, they attack the Archduke. They try to attack him. They, they set up a bomb where they think he's going to be. He's not there. Bomb goes off. He doesn't, he doesn't end up dying. So they fail at this first attempt to kill the Archduke. However, a guy by the name of Gavrilo Princip, this guy right here, eventually goes up to the Archduke. Bang, 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 bang. Kills him and his wife. Now that... It's not about the color of their skin. It's not about race. <laughs> and the Austrians are blamed. Or excuse me. The Austrians blame Serbia for supporting that terrorist group. So if you walk up to me and show me purple hand, I'll be scared of you. <laughs> so, why is this important? Because the Austrians, the Austrian Hungary, that huge, huge country, part of the Central Powers, aligned with Germany, they blame Serbia, a really tiny country, for killing their dude. Except it's not Serbia that does it. Okay? So it's this problem. They're playing the blame game, but really what they're doing is they're tr they're trying to start something that's not there. Okay. So here is the Archduke's coat after he was murdered. Bang bang. Okay. So here's what happens: is Austria again supported by Germany tells Serbia, "Hey, look, you have to do some things for us." Now they give them an ultimatum. What is an ultimatum? <laughs> what is an ultimatum? What does that mean? Yeah, you either do this or this is going to happen, right? So an ultimatum 
is this. It's dabbing. If you don't shut up, I'm going to smack you again. Right? So, <laughs> that's essentially what Austria says to Serbia. You better do this, 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 and this, or else we're going to go to war with you. So Serbia says, all right, we'll, we'll do a couple of those things, but we're not going to do everything. What eventually happens is people get pissed off. Russia comes back to back up Serbia, right? Remember, Serbia and Russia are aligned, just like Austria and Germany are aligned. So Russia says, all right, we got to go to war. So they start getting their troops ready to go to war. Germany then butts their heads in and says, Russia, you better stop. Russia says no, and Germany declares war on Russia. Now, once war is declared on one country, guess what happens? All the other countries say, all right, let's go. So Great Britain and France then say, all right, we're going to go to war with Germany. And then Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire say, all right, we're going to go to war too. Okay. So that small, now again, I know the killing of a man is not small. But in the grand scheme of things, that one act brings all of these countries and eventually most of the world's powerful countries into a war. Okay? Maybe killing like supposedly like I'm sorry? What? Essentially what they said is that you have to admit to the war. Oh, the previous one? Yeah. What they said is you have to admit that you did this. You have to get your people out of that area. Uh, and you have to submit to us as Austria. They said, all right, we'll submit to you. And we'll get our people out of there, but we're not admitting it because we didn't do it, right? So then, eventually, they shot him in the heart. Yeah, they shot him right in the chest. Make sure that he was dead. They were hurt, right? Got it. All right, cool. They could have done said, "All right, we're sorry, we weren't controlled." They tried, but again, it's it's this time of tension, and people aren't thinking clearly, and. There's this imminent war that's happening, and finally, it, it would have the war would have happened anyway. All right, so what happens? We have, on one side, we have the central powers, and that is made up of Austria, Hungary, Germany, and the Ottoman or Turkish Empire. Okay, why are they called the central powers? Because they are in the center of Europe. And then on the other side, we have Great Britain, France, Russia. Serbia, not all that important except they're involved in that beginning of the war. And then eventually, who is going to join on that side? The United States is eventually going to join on the Allied Power side. No, that's World War II, my friend. Well, we're going to talk about what happens after the war and why it actually leads to something a little bit more. Class is not about that. All right, got those? So, now that the war has been declared, how are we going to fight? So, this idea called the Schlieffen Plan, what does Schlieffen sound like? What word? It's German, right? So this is a German idea. 
is that their first idea is to attack France and Russia. Okay? They don't want to they don't think that Great Britain is going to be that much of a threat. So they want to go after France and Russia. Okay? So they start moving their troops towards France first. They want to they want to knock them out quickly. Knock them out quickly. This war uh, by experts at the time said that it was only going to last for about six weeks. It ends up lasting for over four years. Okay. Oh, you're killing me. I'm good. Ish. Why the lights go out? What do you mean? He turned them out. Come on. There we go. Alright, so what happens is what, what happens is oh, Germany goes after France first. They want to avoid France's defense so 